Which food item do you continue to hate even as an adult? When we were kids, my mom said we could each choose one main dish that we didn't like. And if she served that she'd make something else for us. Mine was liver, which was one of my dad's favorites. I thought it was so gross. Recently my wife said she wanted to try it. So we made some. Nope. Still exactly as gross as I thought it was when I was eight. Kumis. A.K.A. fermented horse milk. I mean, growing up in Kazakhstan. It was okay as a child. But I didn't take to it like the other kids and it just doesn't stack up to a good PB and J with the crusts cut off. Lima beans. Nasty little chalk pellets. No, mom, I'm not eating them. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Blue cheese once almost made me throw up from nearly the smell alone. I had it in a burger and the first bite I took I immediately lost my appetite. To top it off I had COVID. I wasn't supposed to taste or smell anything but blue cheese doesn't seem to obey that rule. Celery. I understand why it's important in soups and stuff, but god I hate it. Cilantro even though it's genetic. What is a childish behavior adults do that makes you cringe? Getting mad when someone tells them, no. At the bakery where I work, we offer free cookies to kids under 12 as long as they have a parent with them. As you can imagine, we run out quickly. I've seen a couple of adults scream and cry after telling them we've run out of cookies. Like I've just run over their puppy or something. The kids usually just shrug it off and walk away. Getting mad at or demeaning cashiers, fast food workers. Blame others instead of taking responsibility for their actions. My mother sticks her fingers in her ears and goes, la 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 la, whenever someone is proving her wrong. All the time. Consistently. Throw a tantrum in public. What is an alternative but equivalent pleasure to sex? Taking a big long piss after holding it in for an age. Sleeping in. It's rare but amazing when it happens. On a cold and rainy day, taking a hot shower after you have been outside for a while. Quitting a lousy job and peeling out of the parking lot. Drinking fresh water when you're extremely thirsty. Getting home at the end of a long day. Sitting at the edge of your bed. Taking off you socks. And vigorously scratching your ankles where your leg hair has been matted down from your socks all. Day. What has living through a pandemic taught you? Two weeks can turn into two years real quick lol. I really, really like hanging out by myself. The trajectory of your entire life can change in an instant. Who are my real friends? That socializing does actually somewhat matter and that grades, career errand everything. Life just sucks sometimes. That's the way it is and there's nothing you can really do about it and you just kinda have to. Accept it and keep going. That the 9 to 5 grind is absolutely fucking toxic as hell. The amount of free time working from home and cutting down on my travel time has given me. It's improved my relationships. Given me more time with my kid and fiancé. Less time spent outside of those eight hours doing chores and errands. I recognize that this isn't possible for every career and I'm sorry if this doesn't apply to you. But that's why our society needs to change. People need more time to themselves. What is a fact that you think barely anyone else knows? The same computer software used for the CGI in Jurassic Park was used to make the sprites for Donkey Kong Country. Edit. Clarified what the software was for. The British trained seagulls to poo on the periscopes of enemy submarines before they realized seagulls can't fly that far out to sea. That cultured bits of brain matter always try to grow an eye. The sperm cell was discovered by the Dutch guy Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. For research he used his sperm and also that from a dog. I don't think most people know the meaning of prodigal. They know the parable of the prodigal son. 
and think it refers to someone that leaves and then has to come crawling back. But that's incorrect. Prodigal means to spend money lavishly or wastefully. The prodigal son was prodigal whether or not he ever went back to his father. Hans Zimmer was the keyboard player on Video Killed the Radio Star. HTTPS U2.be slash W8R dash Texerloss? T equals 171. What started as a joke but became a legitimate thing? Untitled Goose Game. HTTPS colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash untitled underscore goose underscore game hash development underscore and underscore release closing parenthesis. Bodie McBoatface. My dad was a member of the Flat Earth Society in the 80s. He thought it was the funniest thing ever to pretend that anyone would actually believe that shit. I wonder what he would think if he were alive today. The Catalina wine mixer from Step Brothers. It was made up and in the movie it was actually shot on the mainland and you can see the island of Catalina in some scenes. It wasn't until several years later that they actually started holding a Catalina wine mixer on the island, which was inspired by the movie. B-movie. Jerry Seinfeld supposedly pitched the idea of a B-movie about bees as a joke. But Steven Spielberg liked it so much that it got greenlit. Dogecoin of course. What is the funniest movie you've ever seen? The most insane experience I've ever had at the movies was seeing Borat on opening night in a completely packed theater in 2006. I will never forget it. My cousin Vinny. Young Frankenstein, Frankenstein, or Frankenstein. Naked Gun. Can't count on both hands how many times I've watched that movie. That's only because I can't count though. Hot Fuzz. Subscribe, my brothers.